When I first got involved in elective politics back in 1968, Cleveland, Cuyahoga County, and Northeast Ohio were the seat of democratic power. Cincinnati and Southwest Ohio were seen as the center of Republican power in the state. The city of Cincinnati, politics were a little more nuanced than county politics because the historic weakness of the Democratic Party until the late 1950s allowed the development of something rare in American politics, a sustained three-party system, Republicans, Democrats, and Charterites, the reformed third party. Founded in the mid-1920s, Charterites believe most issues facing local government were not best analyzed in a national partisan framework, but in a business-like manner. Charterites like to say that there wasn't a Democratic or Republican way to fix a pothole, just an efficient and cost-effective way. The emergence of the charter reform movement weakened the Republican influence at City Hall, and the Republican Party responded by concentrating and controlling Hamilton County government, including the three-member county commission, the eight elected countywide offices, and the judicial bench. To realize how much has changed in local politics over the last 25 years, just look at the transformation of Cincinnati City Hall and the Hamilton County Courthouse. In 2022, the nine-member Cincinnati City Council is made up by eight Democrats and just one Republican, who is also the only member of council that was cross-endorsed by the Charter Committee. And over at the Hamilton County Courthouse, all three commissioners are now Democrats, six of eight other countywide offices are held by Democrats, and the Democratic judges are now competitive for both the municipal and the common pleas court benches. What happened? First, between 1990 and 2020, Hamilton County lost over 36,000 residents, while three southwestern Ohio collar counties around Hamilton County added 266,000 residents, including many migrants from Hamilton County. That has resulted in the percentage of African Americans in Hamilton County increasing from 20 to 26 percent and inside Cincinnati from 38 to 42 percent. Those demographic shifts have broadened the base of support of Democrats in the city of Cincinnati and Hamilton County and buttressed the strength of Republicans in the rest of Southwest Ohio and Northern Kentucky. A second factor has been the maturation of African American involvement in public life. The Voting Rights Act of 1965 may not have changed Ohio law in the way it did in the southern states, but the civil rights movement activated fuller participation of African American voters and politicians. As more African Americans ran for office, Bill Mallory Sr., Bill Bowen, Dwight Tillery, Tillery, Mark Mallory, Odell Owens, Alicia Reese, and others, more black citizens became active in politics. That made it increasingly difficult for the white business power structure to impose its will without engaging with minority members of the community. These demographic shifts are tracked every 10 years by the census, something I always paid attention to on newsmakers. And those census returns have become the basis for increasingly bitter fights over redistricting of the state legislative districts and the congressional district. At the same time that Hamilton County has become more democratic, it has been gerrymandered to make it difficult for any Democrat to win a seat for Congress. After the 2020 census, the county was chopped into two different congressional districts, each anchored in the heavily Republican collar counties. On a week-by-week -week basis, it can be hard to see the impact of these large shifts, but certain watershed moments were clear when they occurred. Most importantly, the election of Democrat Todd Portoon to county commission in, 20, in the year 2000 breaking the 36-year Republican stranglehold on the commission. With 20 years of interviews about the demographics, census data, redistricting, and partisan swings, Newsmakers documents a sweeping period of change in the politics of southwestern Ohio.